Meghan Markle and Prince Harry handled an important decision rather badly from a PR perspective and should have been more straightforward, claimed royal correspondent Camilla Tomini. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry initially chose to keep the details of Archie's birth private until after they had time to celebrate as a family. However, royal correspondent Camilla Tomini accused the couple of handling one particular birthing decision rather badly. Referring to Meghan and Harry's decision to initially keep the location of Archie's birth private, Nine News Australia presenter Georgie Gardner asked, Royal photographer Arthur Edwards spoke about this recently because as you know, he's known Prince Harry since he was a little boy. He has accused the couple of mishandling Archie's birth and in turn losing the goodwill of the British people. Do you think he has a point? Ms. Tomini replied, It's probably going a little too far, the goodwill of the British people will always be there because there's a huge amount of affection towards Prince Harry and actually Meghan. Although she's attracted some negative headlines, generally she's been really warmly received by the British public, as she was in Australia by the Australian public frankly. They're both hugely popular figure within the royal family. I think there's just this sense of them trying to get the balance right and perhaps it not always working. I wrote a piece in the aftermath of the baby being born saying it had been handled rather badly from a PR perspective. We're all celebrating in the news of the birth but when you're a journalist and you don't have one key aspect of the story which is where the baby's been born then that does make things a little difficult. Not least when you know the information is going to come out anyway. Rather than being cloak and dagger perhaps just be a bit more straightforward and perhaps people won't be questioning all this stuff. Why have people questioning it anyway? This is meant to be a momentous day, and a day of celebration, so I play the cat and mouse game? I think is the argument. According to the Daily Mail, Meghan was secretly whisked off to Portland Hospital by her husband and their Scotland Yard security team. Sources claimed Meghan remained there overnight before the baby was delivered at 5.26 a.m. on Monday morning. The decision to bring the Duchess to the London hospital was reportedly a secret not even senior royals knew about. However, the reason for the secrecy could simply be that the hospital plans emerged quickly and was not a planned move for the fresh royal parents. Peter Bowen Simpkins, a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist, told the Daily Mail there are many reasons why a home birth may not have gone to plan for the Duchess of Sussex. Mr. Bowen Simpkins said, when you have your first baby you essentially have an untried pelvis. You don't know what's going to happen when the body prepares for labor and birth. If a woman is on her second or subsequent baby and has had a normal delivery before then it's likely there wouldn't be any problem at all. But you don't know that's going to be the case until you have your first baby. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan's son is set to be christened in the private chapel at Windsor Castle on Saturday. Meghan and Prince Harry have even decided not to reveal the identities of their son's godbarons. A statement from Buckingham Palace read, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor will be christened in a small private ceremony by the Archbishop of Canterbury in the private chapel at Windsor Castle on Saturday July 6. The godbarons, in keeping with their wishes, will remain private. However, Meghan sparked speculation on the identity of two godbarons during her surprise appearance at Wimbledon today, to support her friend Serena Williams. Meghan attended Wimbledon with two friends from university, Lindsay Roth and Genevieve Hills. The pair will both be attending Archie's private christening this weekend with Miss Roth reportedly thought to be one of Meghan's closest friends.